yeah! Ha, ha! Yeah, baby, yeah! I got the money, oh! That's okay, man, that's my toilet paper. Yeah! Yeah, I got plenty to burn. Welcome to Money Math. Intro to proofs. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Yo, we're gonna throw money at this problem. So! Where's my marker? There you go. I want a new marker, yeah. All right, let me hear you one time. Yay, yeah, Matt! Yay, yeah, Matt! All right, y'all. All right, let's go. Let's do some math. Money for later. <laughs> Dinner's on me for life. <laughs> All right, where's my... Uh, ah, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna suspend the accent for the lesson. <laughs> Welcome to Proofs! No, but for real, in all seriousness, joking aside, thank you. This outfit was supplied by the students. So thank you, give yourselves a hand. Yay! <laughs> all right, cool. And it's perfect because we're going to do intro to Proofs. Proofs is probably the hardest thing, traditionally speaking, in geometry. All right, so we're going to start it off really strong today. Thank you for the outfit, right? Yeah! And I hope that after today you have some idea of what proofs are about. All right, so let's jump right into it. First things first, we need to know our properties, okay? So if you're looking at number one on the sheet, all right, you see that if 80 equals measure of angle A, then... 80 equals angle A, angle A equals 80. Does anyone know what property this is mathematically yet? Uh, reflexive. It's almost reflexive. It's not. Reflexive would be A equals A. Okay, yes? Commutative. Uh, commutative would be A plus B equals B plus A when you move them with a plus sign. Yeah? Transitive. Tran nope, it's not transitive. Not transitive. Yeah? Symmetric property? It's the symmetric property. Yeah. Symmetric property is. If A equals B, then B equals A. Or, you know, so notice they switch over the equal sign. Right? So you can write that. Symmetric property. Okay, the next one's very relevant. It's going to come up a lot. RS. <coughs> ha! RS equals Y, P. Okay, look at that one. You see the link? RS equals T, U. TU equals YP, so now we connect the beginning and the end. I heard it earlier today. Yes, sir? Transitive? Transitive property, right. right. Transitive property is when you start at the beginning, you go to TU, TU connects to another, and then so we connect beginning to end. All right? So keep that in mind. It's going to come up again. Next one, 7X equals 28. So, x equals 4. Now, here's the question about proofs, all right? Try to understand the following. What changed from this statement to this statement? What did we do algebraically? Yes. We solved it. We solved it by doing what? By yes. By isolating x. property. Yeah. By isolating x, by doing what? Division. By dividing both sides. So this will be division. So the way you want to start thinking about proofs is, what did I do to get from here to here? I used division, I divided both sides by 7. Okay, moving on. Now here's something that's, that may... So which one's this called? Division. Division, that's right. Right? So now give this one a shot. All right, so check it out. VR plus TY. VR plus TY equals EN plus TY. And they have VR equals EN. That's a funny N. I'm used to writing M's for money, not N for nothing. Yeah! Ha! Got my money. Ooh! This is like uh, edible, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, what changed from here to here? What changed? Notice this statement. Notice this statement. What oh. went away? Yes, ma'am. Well, you subtracted the ty from both sides. So this would be the what property? Additive. No, no. Subtraction. You said it yourself. Yeah, you, you said it. You said it already. Subtraction. Yeah. Subtraction. Additive inverse. I know what you mean. Is like what you add to make go to zero. I suppose. But this is just 
from here to here, the difference was ty was subtracted. All right? So that's the idea with that. And now, one more, and then we'll get right into the proof. We'll do an algebraic proof for the first time. So we have angle 1 equals 30. Angle 1 equals angle 2. And so, OK. Let me ask you a leading question. Why is this not transitive property? Yes? Because you didn't take out the uh, last part, you took out the first part. Okay, I understand what you're saying. You're saying that because 1 equals 3, or excuse me, 30, so we'd have to do like 30 equals something for it to be transitive, right? Like the, the train, I like to call it the train. The train would like to go, like would like to continue. 1 equals 30. Thus, 30 equals something, and then 1 would equal that something. But this is not transitive property, you see. This is like A equals B and A equals C, right? So does anyone have any guess, or maybe you've heard back in the day, what this property would be? Follow up? Yeah. Uh, don't you mean angle 2 equals 30? Yeah, 30. That's why I'm not sure. 30. Sorry. Thanks. All right, good. <laughs> okay, I'll explain. This is probably one that you're going to see most of the time. All right. Would you agree that this statement with the star here is the same as this statement here, with the exception of the one yeah. and the two? Yes. Yeah. All right. So then, would you agree that this is the exact same as this, except yeah. we took this out, and in its place we put angle two? Because 1 is equal to 2. Mm -hmm. So when you take something out and put something in its place, that's called substitution. Okay. So that's a property that's going to come up a lot, substitution. And <laughs> just in your best interests, maybe not mine, but I'll say it in your best interests, if I was your cousin or your tutor or something like that, and I was helping you with this stuff, I would tell you that if you're taking a test ever and you don't know what property it is, Try to just put substitution. Chances are you may get it right. All right. So I'm just letting you that, letting you know that substitution happens a lot when you take something out and put something in its place. All right. 